Hello there and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest XI S. It's me, Joey. In the last episode, we went to the circus with the Prince of Galopolis. And he said to take his place in the race. We, of course, said no, stop being a little bitch. And he went, well, guess you don't want the bow then that you really care for. So he's basically got us by the balls. And so we have to do what he wants. It's fine. I don't mind. I was going to say yes. It was Veronica who wanted to go nah. Either way, I'm looking for items before we go to the stables. A hardy hide. Hardy hide! And books for recipes. To get my craft on, you know? I've got to get that craft on. There's one thing I remember from older Dragon Quest games is that I always looked for recipes but never found any. There's a book called Wanderers No More, the Gallop... Gallopolitan Circus. Joey takes from the shelf and has a closer look. Our humble circus was once like many others, a travelling spectacle that traversed Erdria from one land to another. When our intinerant... God damn it. I'm learning new words today. Well, I knew what it is. Troop finally arrived at the great kingdom of Gallopolis. The people were so warm and enthusiastic that the Sultan himself suggested we stay. But we were wanderers at heart. We belonged on the road. With tears in our eyes, we turned down his most generous offer and regretfully left the people of the desert behind. But next we returned, what we saw made us all. The Sultan had ordered the construction of an enormous, beautiful big top on which we might ply our entertaining trade. Each and every one of us was so moved by this grand gesture that the decision remained as unanimous. The rest, as they say, is history. What is this building and how do I get in it? It's just a building that exists. There could be someone in the church. I'm ignoring the church thinking there's nothing to it, but there could be. Like this traveller's hood. I might have missed it. More defence. wonder if, uh... Anyone other than Joey can wear it. No. I think it's so that I can always look like I'm wearing the hood at all times. Oh, yeah. Our world may be full of horse races and circuses and joyous celebration now, but it's not so long ago that Adria was a dangerous, dismal place plagued by monsters. Praise be to the powers above that those dark days are behind us. Hmm. Yes, of course. I found an angel's bell as well. Welcome to the stables of Galopolis. Enjoy your fucking stay, I guess. How rude. So I don't mind me just gonna come and ransack your your shit. There's a distinctly old fashioned looking history book titled The Guardians of the Star. Joey takes it from the shelf and has a close look. Whatever could have led people to brave the harsh desert heat and make their homes in the arid land of Galopolis? The answer to this question must go back to the very founding of the nation. What records remain of the gallant men who first settled here refer to them as Guardians of the Star? It's safe to surmise that their descendants were not to become the current royal family of Galopolis. We cannot know for sure how these first men came to earn such a title, but more than a few have speculated upon a link with the nation's renowned knights and the numerous checkpoints they guard. 70 golden coins? <laughs> Oh, the lady of this house is a clean collector of classic literature, as her butler it often falls to me to do collecting on her behalf. Many years ago, she spent her boy to pick up a particularly rare volume at the time. I was aggrieved to be sent on such an arduous journey, but looking back now, it's quite the adventure. Okay. Hello. Prince Ferris, yes, his highness is through there in the royal dressing room. You may enter, but remember to be respectful, please. Thank the stars, I was beginning to read that I might actually have to try and ride a horse. Now come, the race will begin shortly, and fear not, I remember my promise. If you do as we agreed, I'll ask my father about the branch. Well, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good, now hurry. You must don the royal Gallipolitan armor and helm. Fear not, they will fit you perfectly, I'm sure. Joey takes the princess armor and helm and puts them on. It is as if they are made for you. No one will suspect for a moment that you are not, in fact, the prince of Galopolis. Now the race is about to begin. Me and I, sorry, your steed awaits outside. Once you are safely mounted, make your way through the paddock. The racetrack lies beyond. Meet me afterward in the passageway that leads to the racetrack. You will give me the helm and no one will be any the wiser. 
Now go, remember, you're the Prince of Galopolis and your public expect great things of you. Do not make a fool of me. My Prince. My Lord. As your preparations complete, Your Highness, the race is about to begin. Your steed for today is the finest horse in El Galopolis. Once you are safely mounted, please proceed to the paddock. My horse is in the middle, apparently. Ah, the, the red boy. The absolute legend. Your Highness, you're a picture of boy regal splendor. Every inch a hero from the ancient portrait. Now you must not keep your public waiting any longer. Please proceed to the paddock. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Really grateful for your support in these trying times. The race track is this way, Your Highness. I'll be cheering for you. So that national begins shortly. If your preparations complete, Your Highness, please proceed to the track. Any items back here? So I've got to do it. I'm just going to do a ring around the rosy. Greetings, Your Highness. Three cheers for Prince Ferris. This is the entrance of the track, Your Highness. Your preparations complete. They are. Very good, Your Highness. May you have a successful race. Yes. I'm ready. I want to engage in glorious racing. And national. Uh. Hooray! All hail Prince Varys! Prince Varys! It must be wonderful to be so popular, darling. But of course, you are used to it. Being a real live prince, huh? The name's Silvano, by the way. One of the other riders had a little whoopsie, so I had to step in at the last minute. But don't think I'll be going easy on you just because you're royalty. Where would be the fun in that? Try to keep up, little princey! What the hell is that peacock shit on your horse, Silvando? Hold ZR to suspend your horse speeding ahead and press Y to tug on the reins for a nice tight turn around those tricky corners. Your trusty steed's stamina will steadily subside as it tears around the track, but top it up by running through a green swirl or three and you'll be soon back in the running. I'm going to go full bore the whole time. Here we go. Mario Kart start. Hell yeah. Here we go. Okay, so I've got to do that too. Got to hold Y to do those turns. Jump power. Whee! Okay, so hitting the wall does matter. Oh shit. I'm hoping he has a big slowdown soon. Oh, I can do this while holding the speed. Okay. That makes it a lot easier. I thought I had to let go of dash. Fuck you, buddy! Do 
time I've ever got this. No, I don't have this. I do have this. Bad first lap too. I'm just that good. What do you mean rubber banding to all the hell? This is pure skill. I hardly dare think that you might actually win! Now quickly, my public await! I shall take the reins from here. <laughs> Fear not, my friend. I have not forgotten my promise. I will discuss the rainbow with my father, just as soon as my people have finished showering me with adulation! Fair enough. Enjoy it, mate. I'll see you later. <laughs> the cheers of Prince Faust's adoring public fill the air as he makes his way out onto the track. Praise the fates. Our plan was a success. Thank you. You have spared me great humiliation. <laughs> I will go immediately to my father and ask about the rainbow. Hail Prince Faris, pride of the desert, horseman extraordinaire. Darling, you are fabulous. It was enough to bring a tear even to my jaded eye. Uh, 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 oh. Wait, don't tell me you were... <gasps> Surely you didn't let your understudy take the stage for the command performance. <gasps> Oh, this is too, too good! Wait, wait! But you do not understand the pressure I am under! A prince of Galopolis who could not ride a horse is a disgrace to the kingdom! You could have just said no. I did what was necessary for the sake of my people! And now, all can be forgotten. Yes? And there was silly old Silvando thinking that knights never retreated in the face of adversity. Silence! I am the prince of this kingdom, and I will not have a traveling jester lecture me on chivalry. <gasps> a thousand pardons, your highness. <gasps> <laughs> The Sultan wishes to see you, Your Highness. Your magnificent display of horsemanship has pleased him greatly. Very good. I will come right away. My promise still stands. Come to the throne room in a little while. We will see what can be done about this branch of yours. So nice to see a royal with the common touch. You were wonderful out there today, darling. Maybe we'll get to share the stage again soon. <laughs> the Sylvando Wink. We haven't seen one of those since 1987. Awarded for helping Prince Faris out of a sticky situation by taking his place in the Sun National. Of course. Perfect. Can look like the fugitive now. I, I like that little piece. I don't need to wear the hood, I just want to have it around me. Oh, you knights playing with the kiddies? 
Nearly there. Hmm, you wish to know what I'm doing. It's not obvious, my horse is too tired to run at the moment, but that is no reason for me to neglect my training. The Sand National is a complete disaster. I must give my all in training or never approach the Lando's level. What about my, uh, the Prince's level? Hmm. Head to the throne room upstairs in the Sultan's Palace. Sylvando, don't you ruin this for me. I need this tree. Truly, I am humble. All I have ever desired is to fulfill my duties as a prince and as a knight. promised to assist these travelers. Would you permit me to explain? Gladly, my son. It warms my heart to see you aiding those in need. Truly, you have taken the knight's pledge to heart. Thank you, father. <laughs> the truth of the matter is that my friends here have come to Golopolis in search of the rain... Your Majesty... The beast has returned! It attacked one of our men while we were out on patrol. The Slayer of the Sands is back! Why must the accursed creature always appear on this, the happiest day of the year? We will stand for this no longer! I must dispatch my finest knights and ensure that the fiend never again returns to terrorize the Celestial Sands. But wait! My boy, the fates are speaking to us. Capturing the Slayer would be the perfect way to show your people what a fine knight you have become. What? But, father, <laughs> so many of our bravest men have confronted the creature and perished. <laughs> Surely, <laughs> I do not stand a chance. <laughs> Truly, it is the most able who are the most humble. But you cannot hide your true feelings. You are trembling with excitement. <laughs> this is your moment, Faris, my boy. Capture the Slayer and take your place in history. But uh, I... I... Oh, very, very well. Father, <laughs> yay! I shall begin my preparations right away. <laughs> oh, 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 a thousand pardons. The, the rainbow will have to wait. Meet me in my chambers. There is something we must discuss. Three oh dear. He is uh, absolutely racked with fear. His entire body is shaking. That's not normal. Hello, my friend. Oh, 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 please. Please, I beg of you. The Slayer of the Sands will tear me limb from limb unless you aid me. Have pity on the desperate soul! <laughs> oh. Spoken like a true desert knight. Seriously, can't you handle this on your own? No! No, such a thing is impossible! I am no knight! I neglected my training! I allowed my vassals to fight all my battles for me! <laughs> Oh, it is not my fault. I am an only child. I was coddled from birth and praised for the most insignificant of achievements. I did not wish to disappoint my parents or my people, so I, I, I found ways of, of seeming to fulfill their expectations without necessarily doing so. 
But the more I fulfilled them, the more their expectations grew. And now, finally, they expect the impossible. Ow, 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 it's so unfair. Don't you see? If you refuse to help me, I will be sent to my doom. And through no fault of my own. <laughs> Please, will you take pity on your old friend? <laughs> <sighs> yes, I will. But it is your fault, though. <sighs> oh, thank you. Ten thousand thank yous. <laughs> and fear not. I will speak to my father about the rainbow as soon as the beast is captured. We must make preparations to depart immediately. I will await you at the castle gates. What a pathetic excuse for a prince. Goodness knows what will become of Galopolis with him in charge. Oh, we mustn't be so hard on him, Veronica. I'm sure it can't be easy growing up with everyone expecting so much of you. Well, I think the country might be fine because if he has a great rapport with his people, his people will do anything for him. So the finest knights will fight for him. I think you'd be okay. But you need to have some kind of strength, whether outer or inner, and this guy seems to have neither right now. So you gotta work on that, but besides that, it's okay. Ah, there you are. I've instructed my men to wait outside the city gates. Come and join us as soon as you're ready. I'm ready, I was born ready. I need no disrespect, your highness, but how could you do this to us? You have volunteered us for certain death. Fear not, trusted retainers. We do not journey into the jaws of danger alone. Ha! Impeccable timing as always. Allow me to introduce our knights in shining armor. These brave adventurers have agreed to capture the Slayer for us. Now, the beast lair is said to be located deep within the celestial sands. The fastest route is through the checkpoint to the west. We march immediately for Galopolis. For Galopolis. <laughs> yeah! Everyone else understands the gravity of what they've just been tasked to do. Oh no. Room for a little one? Oh, I'd hate to miss a good beast hunt. Uh -huh. Huh? There's no such thing as a good beast hunt, friend. If I were you, I'd run along back to the circus. Well, aren't you just a lovely, patronizing little deer? Look, I'm worried about the half-wit prince getting himself killed. Can I come with you or not? Yeah, you can come with us. Hmm. At least one of you has some sense. Lead on, darling! It's got sort of like a Tommy Wiseau vibe. Okay, so we're gonna get help from Silvando. We're gonna go through the gate to the west to the Celestial Sands checkpoint, which is good because that's where I want to end up anyway. I mean, our levels will catch back up real soon when everything stops wanting to fight me. The 
just want to go through the checkpoint and we want to find this uh, Spitzfire and then use our move on it. Hello friends. Halt! Slow the sentence on the loose. I can't allow you to... Ah, you're the ones who will be accompanying Prince Fallis, yes? A thousand pardons. His Highness has asked you to be instructed to go right on through. We're in the blue zone with new enemies to fight. It is great for me to fight everything that I see. Ha ha ha! A group of enemies appears. A, a prestidigitator and a haystack needler. Lamb's wool. <laughs> Alright. Engage! Nice. Eric's level increase is level 18. Eric's use two skill points. Veronica's level increase is level 17. Veronica needs a new spell decelerate. And receives three skill points. So I will use straight away to enable myself to do nothing. <laughs> oh well. Not interested in fighting me. If they're not interested, I'm not interested. There are more shinies to engage with too. And here's the spits fire. A handful of glass frit. So we have to defeat it. With the thing. Right, so we have to just defend. Because we want to get our. Everyone follow my orders. Right now. Sylvando might kill it. Which means I just need to defend right now. Let's just keep defending. Okay, Sylvando killed it. That's fine. Goodness. Son of a bitch. I mean, it's fine. Because I kind of want this to happen, but I don't want it to happen like that. I'm all sort of even. Joey's level increases to level 18. Thank you. Alright, another spits fire, please. Ooh, and a green crabbo. I can fight you, you're new. Look! Let's do this. No, 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 no fleeing. Yes. Good. I like the name Crabba Dabba Doo. Experience shouldn't have. Soon as level increases to level 17, learns a new spell accelerate. And I would like to use this immediately, but I can't. I don't think also the same. Yeah. I mean, I could go for increases magical mending, make my heals better. Okay. Again. We go again. No one got a pep up in that fight, so I think we're building up 
the meter. I don't know how it works, really. Okay, so all pepped up now. So we're gonna try and do wild side. <laughs> Serena is upset, but Eric's loving it. Okay, so I think to kill him with Wildside means I've got to only use Eric. There we go. You unleashed your Wildside and slew a Spitzfire. You should go and tell the painter in front of the notice board in Northern Galopolis. Well, let me first rest at the, the campfire. to set up camp. We will continue our quest in the morning. Nasrai, you get your beauty sleep, Princey dear. You've got a hard day of getting us to do your dirty work for you to be preparing for. Come on, you. Let's have a sit down and a nice chat, shall we? No, it sounds good to me. So, two boys and two girls out on a lovely adventure together, huh? How romantic! But what kind of adventure, I wonder? Come on, spill the beans! To be perfectly honest, we're none too sure ourselves just yet. But for the moment, we're trying to get to Yggdrasil. We need to understand more about the mystery surrounding the Luminary, you see? It's all to do with a horrible being called the Dark One. He wants to bring death and destruction to the world. And we want to stop him. All right, Big Mouth, that's enough. You don't need to tell the Jolly Jester our whole life story. We barely know him. My, 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 my. So there's a dastardly villain coming to steal all the smiles and laughter from the world. And you four heroes are on a daring mission to stop him before it's too late. Oh, now that does sound fun. Hmm. You've got a strange idea of fun. What about you, Silvando? What made you leave home and set out on the road? Oh, you don't want to hear my boring old stories. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Come on, kiddies. Betty buys. 
<sighs> Sylvando, I'm not. Also, don't sleep like that. It's really bad for your circulation. Well, aren't we full of mysteries? What's his deal? And then, morning comes. Morning, campers. I hope you slept well. We got ourselves a slayer to catch. A little princey poo and his friends set up a first light. You better hurry if you want to catch up with them. Alright. No problem. But first, let me make sure this is a warpable situation. It is. Zoom me, baby. Usually if you're under a cover, you bounce your head off the ceiling. Which is why I ran outside. You know how it is. One person of the team decides to follow me. I guess it's the most pertinent person at that moment. Anyway, Mr. Painter, I did your dirty work for you. I saw it all, every single moment, even from this distance, I could sense the glorious intensity of the battle. And do you know, inspiration for a title for a masterpiece has already struck, it shall be called The Walk on the Wild Side. But now it's not the time to be thinking of titles, I must devote all my energies to completing the work itself. Ah, but before I forget, I must give you something to thank you for your assistance, please. Furry Finery. He reads it from cover to cover and knows its incredible contents by heart. Joey learns how to make fur hoods and fur ponchos. Truly, it has been years since I witnessed such a simulating scene. These are the moments an artist lives for. A thousand thank yous, young man. Your tales of walking on the wild side inspired the painter in Galopolis to create a painting the likes of which you've never painted before. Okay, well. Let's see what we can make. If anything. Oh. Uh -huh. Joey's extensive experiences on this quest has gotten him new crafting capabilities. Three, and double whammy. Double whammy is a single strike with double the standard strength. Recently learned. Fur hood and fur poncho. They are certainly better, but I need fine fur. Buy the missing materials for 300 gold, to make a, gold coins to make a fur hood. I mean, it's better for everyone, so I've kind of got to do it. Yeah. Okay. 300 is still cheap. Yeah, that was close. Works, though. Double army is 8. Which is slightly less than 2 bashes. Focus. Probably turn out alright. Okay, I'll take alright. Yeah. Might be a plus zero. Oh! Success! Success is a fur hood. Yeah, just a regular fur hood. Another one? Yeah. I'm gonna do this until I run out of magical beast tides. Yeah, so I just need to do this for, for, like, everything to begin with. Okay, that's done. They're gonna have to go for a normal bash there, but we'll try this too. Okay. One bash. Two bash. Uh, three bash. Okay, we're good. Right, now, finishing touches. Probably turn out pretty well. Okay. That's a plus one then. Yeah. Okay. 
Another one. Yes. And then I'll farm up the magical beast hides for the rest of it at a different time. Okay. Flourishes. Oh, I've got to do it like that. Okay, only left or right. I see. No, I don't want that then. Double whammy's working well. See, that's what you don't want. But you just have to take it. That's all in the all in the uh, the right area. So I'm done. There should be at least another plus one. Success. Good. Okay, then, uh, I mean the mages are going to get the plus ones because they need the extra defense. One more, there we go. Alright then. <clears throat> Ooh, that's unfortunate. That's too strong. That's already in, that's good. Okay. Normal bash. Normal bash. I'm gonna have to do a a uh, lightning bash. That's that's close enough. It's as close as I'm gonna get. No golds, but I made three plus ones and a normal. Okay. I mean, I could also rework the, the normal one I got and try and make it a plus one. Let's sort by type. I need eight pearls to do it, though. I mean, I've already got a lot, so I might as well try. I might as well try. If it ends up being better, then I'll be happy with it, so. That's in. Okay. If the two double whammies get you straight in, you're happy with that. Okay. Normal bash. That's in. I might even need another double to get that in. Okay. And then perhaps a regular bash on this side. Okay. I was hoping for a way lower roll than that, but it's alright. It might be a plus two because I got one gold. But it might be a plus one again. Uh, plus one. Okay, good. That'll do. So everyone gets a plus one. Now, no no special benefits. Everyone gets all the same. Sounds good to me. I lose magical might and magical mending. But I gain defense, which is more important. It just is. I lose six magical might, but I gain ten defense. It's all well and good having that, but if you die, then you feel like a pleb. That's only worth five, so I'm actually going to keep the bunny is. So you might ask, well, why make it then? Because it only cost me 300 gold, and I bet I can sell it for more than 300 gold. I wonder if there's a way to game the system like that. I think only if you have more than you need. Like, if, if you have one of the materials, it's probably still worth it. But if you don't, then it's probably not worth it. I want to sell both. Yep. And then I want to sell the plus two. I'm going to keep the plus three, because it's a plus three. And I want to sell one fur hood. And get 700 for it. Thank you. Alright. Okay, so. Let's walk back to the bonfire, so I don't remember where I'm going. Whee. Yeah, they don't care about you doing that in front of them. Okay, and then we'll save. Yes, I would like to save, please. I don't think I ever saved um, it during the second hour, so hopefully that isn't fucked. You see the playtime will be like 10 hours or something now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. 
Okay. Well, I'll see you guys next time when we go and help the prince defeat the sand beast. See you then. Goodbye.